Most of the time when you think of PKM, you probably think of your own personal collection of notes and ideas. After all, it's in the name, personal knowledge management. So PKM systems tend to be these silos where we try to make sense of things disconnected from the real world and the people that we work and live with there. And this, my friends, is a problem. The place where a lot of PKM systems tend to fall on their face is when other people get involved. The minute that you need to start collaborating with another human, it starts to get tough keeping tabs on everything. So I built a system for myself in Obsidian for rolling tasks and notes up into a single note that I call the people note. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I built it, how I use it, and how it saves me from scrambling to find things when I need them. Now first, let's talk about the way that we work with others. There's a couple different types of ways that I need to track things that involve other people inside my PKM system. And I think these three things are pretty universal. First, there are things that I need to talk to someone about so a decision can be made and the project can progress. Second, there are projects that I'm involved with where I can't move the project forward until I get something back from someone else. And then third, there are tasks that I'm technically not responsible for, but I know will make things difficult for me if it's not delivered, so I want a way to make sure that this doesn't fall through the cracks. Now I'll share workflows for each, but the key thing here is that all three connect back to that people note. Now at a high level, what is the people note? It's basically just a templated note that I use to surface all of the tasks, projects, and meeting notes related to an individual inside of my Obsidian Vault. It has a couple of queries that pull in the things that I need to discuss with the person, the things that I'm waiting for the person to complete, and the things assigned to the person that I want to make sure I keep tabs on. I also pull in all of the meeting notes where this person was an attendee so I can quickly find and reference the historical notes with decisions and associated action items when I need them. This person note is templated and I use a quick add macro along with the templater plugin to make creating new person notes easy. But let's start with the basics first and let's talk about the Obsidian tasks queries. Now, honestly, the genesis of the person note for me was this other video that I did where I walked through how I set up a task management canvas dashboard using specific queries for the Obsidian tasks plugin. And if you wanna know more about the queries, go check out that video. But there are two lists on that dashboard that are specifically designed to show tasks that involve other people. One is the to discuss list and the other is the waiting list. Now the waiting list is not a new idea. Pretty much every task manager I've used in the last 15 years has had some sort of context or tag to surface the things where I was waiting for someone else to do something. But over the past several years, I've worked at and with a couple different companies where I had regular one-on-one -on -one meetings with both my boss or supervisor and also my direct reports. Because I knew that I had these meetings every week, I started to collect questions that I had for people into lists so that I could go through them when we met for our weekly one-on-one -on -one meetings. Now, first I would just capture these things to the top of the person's note in my note-taking app and then Obsidian. But then when I set up my task dashboard, I realized there's actually a better way to do this. So I started adding tags for the person involved so that I could filter out all of the things that I wanted to discuss with them quickly. Now I'll show you the queries in a second, but first let's jump over to a person note and I'll show you the tags that drive this whole thing. So here on the person note, you can see I've got some standard CRM type stuff at the top of the person note. And to be honest, I don't really use this all that often, but I built it into the template file just in case. The thing I do use is right here. It's a one word tag for someone that I work with regularly that is attached to their person note. Now, usually this tag is just the person's first name, but you may need to get creative if you work with multiple people who have that same first name. Now, once you have this tag, you can then combine this tag with other tags to show lists of things like things to discuss with John the next time that we have a one-on-one -on -one meeting. So that's the first query that shows up in this person's note. And this is a simple Obsidian task query that shows tasks that are not done, have both the hashtag John and hashtag discuss tags, and it displays the tasks in short mode and also hides the tags from the description. Now I'm using custom callouts for these task queries so that I can collapse these lists if I want. And those are set up using the callout manager plugin. But as you can see, this gives me an easy list of things that I can review quickly before I head into my meeting. Now this may seem like a really simple thing, but I cannot overstate what a big difference this approach makes in terms of helping create a calm work culture where you can focus on your important work. Now granted, you need to get buy-in from others as well, but having a set meeting time where all you do is work through things together can eliminate a ton of the back and forth that typically happens during the week via email or Slack. 
getting other people on board with the idea that one, issues should be captured to a list, and two, providing regular time to work through significantly decreases the likelihood of my day getting sidetracked by something urgent that needs to be solved right away. The next list is the one that shows all of the things that I need the other person to do before I can step in and help move things forward. And again, this query uses a combination of tags to display these tasks. In this case, it's hashtag John and hashtag waiting. Now, once again, this list is only showing tasks that are not done, it's displaying them in short mode, and it's hiding the tags. The third callout on this person note is the tasks that are assigned to this person. Now, technically, you probably shouldn't need this. These are tasks that are assigned to someone else that you really don't need to do anything with. If you work on a team, you probably already track tasks together in something like Notion, ClickUp, or Asana. But in the past, I've delegated work to individuals who have failed to follow through, and ultimately, I'm the one who got in trouble for the project not getting done on time. So I use this when there's something that I really want to keep tabs on because I know it's ultimately connected to me in some way. I'll usually put an external link to the real task in the description, like the link to a Notion task, and I'll link to the person note in Obsidian by using double brackets around the person's name. This is my way of surfacing things so that every once in a while I can ask, hey, how's that task or project coming along? Now this query is different in that it shows all the tasks that include a direct link to the person note where it's being displayed. Just like the other queries, it's inside of a custom callout, it shows only the tasks that are not done, it displays them in short mode, and hides the tags. Now below that is one additional query though, this time it's using a data view query, and that shows all of the meeting notes that the person attended. Some may not actually find this that helpful as most meeting notes tend to be stored somewhere online so that everyone on the team has access to them, but I tend to take my own meeting notes anyway for every meeting that I'm in. It's my way of making sure that the important information gets captured just in case the meeting note taker drops the ball and I have a list of things that are important to me. I keep these meeting notes in a meeting notes folder and I have a folder template set up using Templator that automatically applies a template when a new meeting note file is created. The important thing here though is to make sure that I have each person who attended the meeting tagged in the properties view at the top of the note. So in this case you can see in the attendees section there are internal links to both myself and John Smith. So if we jump back to John's personal note now, the data view query simply shows all the files for the meetings where John Smith was listed as an attendee along with the date to help me locate the right file when I'm looking for something. Now because these are all queries based on a couple of specific pieces of information associated with that person note, I wanted to automate the creation of this note so that I didn't end up making a mistake and mistyping something in one of those queries. So I created a template that has a couple of variables throughout the note for the first name, the last name, and the tag for a new person note when it's created. The trick here is to have a couple of curly brackets for the variables, then the word value, colon, and the name of the variable. For example, first name. I've added these to the template file, which is now included in my Practical PKM Obsidian Starter Vault. You can download an updated version for free if you go to practicalpkm.com vault, and that's where you'll get this file for yourself. Now, once the template is good to go, then you need to set up a quick add macro. You'll need to use a template macro, and in this case, I'm gonna walk through my new people note macro and show you exactly how I set this up. Now first you need to point it at that template file. In this case, it's using the person note template inside of my templates folder. Next, you need to set the name format, and I wanna use two captured values for the person's first name and last name when creating the full file name. So I've got the template tokens listed here, followed by a .md, which will result in a first name, last name .md file when I run this. Next, you need to choose where you want the file to be stored, and I have it set to create the file inside of my people folder. I'm leaving subfolders off, create in same folder as active file off, and append link off. And I don't need to worry about setting the default behavior if the file already exists, because I wouldn't be creating this if the file was in my people folder already. But I do want to open the file after I've created it to make sure that it did so correctly. I don't want to create a new split, and I do want to focus on the new pane after the file is created and opened. So now we can close the settings, make sure the lightning bolt is toggled on if you want to access this command directly in the command palette, and then you can simply run the macro when you want to add a new people note. Here's what it looks like. First, it's gonna ask me for the person's first name. So in this example, we'll use Tim. Next, it asks for the person's last name, and we'll use Apple. Finally, it asks for the tag that I want to use, and in this case, we want to add it without the hashtag, so I'll just use 
tim, all lowercase. After that, the macro takes over, creates the note, and all of the queries are created for us. The cool part about this is that all these queries are instantly updated based on the contents of your notes in your Obsidian Vault. So if I use the quick add macro to add a new task to my master task list, and I use the appropriate tags, those tasks will show up instantly in these queries. So now I've got a note that will show all the things that I need to discuss with Tim, the things that I'm waiting on Tim to finish, the tasks that Tim is working on that I want to keep tabs on, and a list of all the meeting notes that I attended with Tim. By the way, I take the same approach with projects. Each project gets its own note, its own tag, and queries that use the project tag to roll up all the related tasks and meeting notes. That way I can go to the project note first and I can see everything related to that project in one place. Now I recognize this approach is not gonna be for everyone, but I personally love having all of this just roll up into those queries without having to worry about where I put things. And if you wanna play with this, as mentioned earlier, I've included the template file in the most recent version of my Obsidian Starter Vault. This will give you the actual template file that I use and you can tweak it to your liking. To access the template, just download the Starter Vault, open the Templates folder, grab the People Note template and copy it over to your Obsidian Templates folder. Then you can use the instructions that I've provided in this video to build out the quick add macro that uses the template file to create your new people note. And if you want a done for you version of this, you might want to check out Life HQ. It's my epic done for you Obsidian Vault and it has all of my task management, journaling, reflection, and multi-scale planning workflows ready to go. It includes a reference vault with all of the screenshots and a whole bunch of video tutorials, but it also has a blank version that just has all of the plugins and settings pre-configured for you. You can find out more about Life HQ and see a video walkthrough of everything that's included if you go to practicalpkm.com/lifehq. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video.